Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to wire a multi-speed motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech and before we start anything, safety first, you always want to make sure that your main power is off and that's going to be at our VFD. Always make sure that you kill the power and lock out, tag out. Safety first. To be safe, I recommend everybody takes out their multimeter of some sort and make sure that the VFD is doing its job by checking our three legs. Once we confirm power is off, we can begin with the rest of our work. The power is confirmed to be off and let's get into it. So we're gonna zoom in into our wiring diagram so you can always find your wire diagram how to wire the motor on the motor itself so what i'm going to do is i want to do a close up i hope that everybody takes a screenshot or writes it down as far as the diagram it's very simple to draw and use that and follow along with the video as i wire the motor itself so there's two ways to wire this motor as there's two voltages for this motor, there's two sets of windings within the motor. So this can be wired for 230 volts or 460 volts. In our case, we're using 460. So we're going to use the diagram that states high volts. The diagram for low volts would be for the 230 volts if that was your supplied voltage. So we're using 460, so we're going to focus with the high volts. So if we look at our diagram, it shows that four and seven go together, five and eight go together, and six and nine go together. And that's gonna be wired internally within the motor. Then we have one, two, and three, which is gonna be our three phases coming in from our main power that get connected to those wires. So let's begin by wiring the motor internally. So for high voltage, four and seven go together. And if you look at our wires, each of them have a little yellow label and you're gonna see uh, a number uh, which is going to represent that part of the winding so four and seven go together so the, the, the wires already stripped back so let's see four and seven right there four and seven put those guys together and cap them off next we have five and nine here's five wait five and eight excuse me five and eight always follow the diagram And cap it off. So five and eight is now done. And next we have six and nine. Six and nine are gonna be these two. And we can cap that off. these are out of our way and it makes it look much clearer so now these are separated and now we have three wires left labeled one two and three and that's gonna get connected with our three phases coming in so let's see we have a knockout here that is larger than this connector let me see this is not gonna work it's quite the difference that's not gonna that's not gonna rock so I need a bushing for this that's gonna get to connected hopefully they have it on site and let's run our line voltage into our panel according to the color code brown it's gonna be your phase one 
orange is gonna be your phase two and yellow is gonna be our phase three. So I'm gonna put brown to one wire. I'm gonna put the orange to the number two wire and I'm gonna put yellow to the number three wire and see if our phases are correct. And I'm gonna show you what to do if your phases are not correct and how to determine that. So I'm gonna strip back my wires. use that color code so number one wire I'm gonna go with brown Number two wire is gonna go to the orange. And the number three wire is gonna go to yellow. So we're gonna twist these together, cut off the excess conductors and cap them off with some wire nuts. So I shipped all the wires back already. And now let's close these up with wire nuts. Red to represent line voltage. And the yellows to represent the internals. So, looks a little neater. And they are different gauge sizes, so you do want to use the appropriate wire caps. So now that we wired everything, let's just secure our connections to make sure everything is safe. And what we could do, remove our lockout tag out kit and start the motor. Uh, somewhere here, you're gonna see the direction of the way you want this pump to move. And that's the direction that we want this motor to be spinning. So we're gonna first find out our direction. There's gonna be an arrow on the volute on this section of the pump. And once we know our direction, we're gonna bump the VFD, see which way it goes. If it's correct, let's say this is the direction and it's correct, then everything is cool. And all we can do is now close this up and wrap it up and put on our guard for this coupling here. If our motor is supposed to go this way, but when you start it, it goes the opposite way, all you have to do is reverse any two wires. So let's say the yellow goes to uh, number three and the orange goes to number two. Put the orange to number three and put the yellow to number two. You just reverse any two leads and that way you reverse the phases. And by doing that, you reverse the direction of your motor. So that's just your last step. Just making sure that's correct. And uh, that's about it. That's how you wire a high voltage motor. And I'm quickly gonna go over these diagrams in another section of this video right after this. So stay tuned. Let's quickly go over the wiring for both the low voltage and the high voltage. We just physically completed wiring the motor for high voltage, which in this case was 460 volts, and low voltage would have been 230 volts. So if you can see, 4 and 7 are connected, 5 and 8 are connected, and 6 and 9 are connected. This part of the motor is internal. 1, 2, and 3 are going to get connected to your three phases coming in one phase, two phase, and your three phase. Next, for your low voltage, four, five, and six are connected together internally. So it's three wires on one wire nut. Next, you have seven and one together, eight and two together, and nine and three together. 
And next, you're gonna add your one phase from the power coming in, your second phase from the power coming in, and your third phase for the power coming in. So there's gonna be three wires together here. Seven, one, and your one phase of your power coming in. Next, eight, two, and the third wire is gonna be your power wire coming in, second phase. And next, you're gonna have three wires here as well. Nine, three, and your third phase wire, your third leg coming in. So there's gonna be three wires on each leg. And that is how you wire both a high multi-voltage motor for either low voltage or high voltage. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.